Buddha, an untouchable Sunita. Anita was a woman of the untouchable, a young caste community in India. During the time of Siddharth Gautam, who later became known as the Buddha, in the rigid caste system of ancient India, untouchables were considered the lowest of the low and they faced extreme discrimination and social exclusion. One day, Sunita saw a group of people gathering around a charismatic and peaceful monk who was none other than the Buddha himself. She was drawn to the tranquility and serenity that surrounded him. Curious and hopeful, she approached him and expressed her desire to become a part of his spiritual community. Despite her low caste status, the Buddha known for his compassionate and egalitarian teachings, welcomed Sunita with open arms. He recognized her sincere aspiration for a spiritual growth and more importantly, her potential for enlightenment. He emphasized that in his teachings, there was no discrimination based on caste and all beings had the same opportunity to achieve a spiritual awakening. Sunita became a devoted follower of the Buddha and entered the monastic order as a bhikshuni, female monk. She diligently practiced his teachings and meditation, striving for personal transformation and liberation from suffering. Over time, through her unwavering dedication, Sunita made significant progress on her spiritual path. The story of Sunita serves as a powerful illustration of the Buddha's inclusive and revolutionary message. He challenged the deeply ingrained caste system of his time, emphasizing that his spiritual worthiness and enlightenment were not determined by one's social status, but by one's actions and intentions. Sunita's journey from an untouchable to a respected member of the Buddhist Sangha, that is the spiritual community, is a testament to the transformative potential of the Buddha's teachings and the universality of his message of compassion and liberation from suffering. That's it for today. If you like our video, please subscribe to our channel, Inspiring Vedas. Thank you so much.